Hello, I'm Elsie Normington from Merkinch Community Centre and I want to welcome you to this event. This year we're having our Christmas concert as we do every year but it won't be in the community centre because sadly it's closed due to the pandemic. However, we thank all our groups who come every year to see our concert and we decided that it would be good to have a virtual concert. So this year we put together a little film of various members in the group and we hope you enjoy our show. So let's go inside and get ready for our Singing for Pleasure Christmas virtual concert. Well, good afternoon everyone. We're all nice and cosy inside now and we're ready to start our virtual concert. We have various items all lined up for you. And we're going to start, first of all, with a well-loved Christmas carol. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. So as you watch, please join in with this lovely Christmas carol. to get us started in our virtual concert. Now then, next up we're going to have a poem and this was written by Irene Grant. It's called Christmas Past and it's going to be read by Kay McKenzie. Hello, this is a wee poem by Irene Grant. Irene is a big friend of mine and has just had a book of her poems um, published for the Elsie Normanton Foundation. So this is just a wee Christmas poem. Bring back the Christmases of long, long ago. A Christmas the young ones now just don't really know. Gifts were simple then, you were pleased with anything, and children got a stocking and one little thing. Families went to church to sing and to pray, but very few families go there today. Dinner would be chicken, and that was a treat, but those who were well off got roast beef. 
Carols were sung from door to door, and money collected went to the poor. The Salvation Army were always very good, and saw that everyone had plenty of food. The Bruins and her Willie were always around, and in most homes were both be found. The Beano and Dandy were firm favourites too, and you would read them all the way through. Jesus was born on a Christmas day, in a stable and on a manger lay. The real meaning of Christmas has gone, just like a long forgotten song. It's nice to go down memory lane and listen to Bing's White Christmas again. All these memories will always last of the Christmases that were in the past. Well, thanks very much, Kay, for that lovely poem. And we wish Irene all the best in her new poetry book called A Poem for Every Occasion. It's a lovely little book. They're on sale and all the proceeds are going to the Haven Appeal. Now then, next up, we're going to do a version of Good King Wenslas Last. So what we've done is we've written our own words to the tune and it reflects what we've all been going through this year with the pandemic. So we hope you enjoy this arrangement. Here we are at Christmas time. Here we are at Christmas time singing once again, doing annual concert, women and some Singing for pleasure won't give up. Eighteen years been singing. Laughter, fun, and friendship too. Our group always bringing. So we hope you like our show. Virtual reality. Always sing and smile, hear fun. Increase our mortality. had a wee laugh at that song and it is good to have a laugh even although it's been a very challenging year for us all. Now then next up we're going to have Joe Campbell and Joe is a long-standing member of Singing for Pleasure. He's also sang solo for many years throughout his life and he's going to come and sing for us now a song that was written in the 1960s by Willie Nelson and it's called Pretty Paper. Crowded tree, busy tree, hustle by noon. Downtown shoppers, Christmas is mine. <coughs> there he sits, all alone, on the sidewalk. Hoping that you won't pass me by. Should you stop? Better not. Much too busy. You'd better hurry. My hard time does fly. In the distance, the ringing of laughter. 
And in the midst of the laughter he cried Pretty paper, pretty ribbons of blue Wrap your presents to your darling from you Pretty pencils to write I love you All the pretty paper Pretty ribbons of blue Merry Christmas to everyone From Singing for Pleasure very much Joe for that lovely song and we appreciate your contribution today. Now next up we're going to have Phyllis McRae who again is a long-standing member of the group and Phyllis herself has written a lot of poems, often very funny poems and so today she's specially written this poem for our concert called Elfie. Elfie December 1st, 2019, I couldn't believe what I had seen. Dressed in a suit of red and green, an elf was sitting on my washing machine. Who are you and who let you in? I am Elfie and I'm moving in, he replied with a cheeky grin. I'm here to ensure that you and your grandkids and Santa believe, so I will be staying till Christmas Eve. I told the grandkids when they called, I have a visitor, did you not see him in the hall? Out to the hall the grandkids did flock, they stood so still, they were in shock, at seeing an elf sitting atop my chiming wall clock. But why is he here, grandly they cry, because he is a Santa spy, that's why. He reports to Santa, so I'm told, so you've to be as good as gold. Elf, he made himself at home, and round the house he liked to roam. He loved mild wine and Christmas pies, so I stocked up on these supplies. But my patience was wearing thin, because the wine it made him sing. It really was an awful din. When the grandkids came to around, Elfie never seemed to be around. It was as if he'd gone to ground. So an elephant would begin, the grandkids shouting, Elfie, aren't you in? Under the beds they first would look, then in the cupboard with the books, but Elfie he was rather fly. He often liked to sit up high, so on the grandkids he could spy. One day Elfie they did discover, hiding under the duvet cover, and then there was an awful din when they found him hiding in the linen bin. But I was glad when it was Christmas Eve, that's when Santa said he'd leave. When he's around he caused havoc, oh to have some peace and quiet. So on Christmas Eve, Elfie did depart, but said next December I'll be back. December 1st has come this year, but sadly Elfie did not appear. Santa says he can't stay this year. To the COVID rules we have to adhere. I have to say we shed a tear, because the grandkids loved him dear. The elves and Santa have embraced the times. They've signed up and are now online. Santa even up has got 5G, every child he signed up for free. The elves, the children now do FaceTime every night around tea time to check that they are being good and doing everything that they should. December 1st will come next year, Elfie then will reappear. He'll come to stay with all his gear and the grandkids they will loudly cheer. The my wang will be flowing free, but I hope his singing has improved, or another year I'll not tell him that I've moved. Well, thanks very much, Phyllis, for that. That was a great wee poem called Elfie. And Phyllis also sent me a funny song, and it was actually the song uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Now, um, it's not the usual words. It's a different rendering, so I hope you enjoy this little twist on Santa Claus isn't coming to town. You better watch out, you better not cough, you better not cough, nor Christmas is off. Santa Claus isn't coming. 
to town. He's booking a test, he's been denied twice, can't find out if he's contagious or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you if you mingle, he sees you in your clicks. He knows if you've been bad or good, so keep to the rule of six. You better watch out, you better not cough, you better not pout or Christmas is off. Santa Claus isn't coming to town. Santa Claus isn't coming to town. This reading is taken from Luke chapter 2. And there were shepherds residing in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Just then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the city of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a great multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favour rests. Traditionally, every year we always had a duet of O Holy Night and you may remember that I used to sing it with my late sister Elizabeth Norris. However, I'm delighted this year to welcome Liz and Richard to this concert and they are going to sing for us O Holy Night. O Holy Night the stars were brightly shining It is the night of our dear Saviour's birth Long lay the world in sin and error pining Till he appeared and the soul felt its worth Oh, no, 
Liz and Richard, that was lovely to hear that great carol, O Holy Night. So we're coming near the end of our little show for you today and we're now going to sing a really rousing carol. I'm sure you all know this one and I hope that you'll join in with us. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Glory to our newborn King. Hark the but we hope that you've really enjoyed it. So before we finish, I'm going to invite Anne McCready, who is our chairperson of the Merkins Community Centre, to bring us some greetings. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so pleased you've been able to join us this afternoon, this very special Christmas concert. We were so disappointed when we realised we wouldn't be able to have our usual concert in Merkins Community Centre. But we follow our customers and we wanted you to know that we care for you and wanted to keep in touch. So Elsie came up with this idea of a virtual concert and she's put a lot of time and effort into doing this. And it's not very easy, but I think she deserves a round of applause. Now, it's been a hard year for most of us, especially those of us living alone. The days can be long and lonely, but there's always some light at the end of the tunnel 
and we can hope that very soon, as the days are passing, spring is coming nearer and soon we can look forward to the light nights again and we want to look forward to coming back into Merkinch Community Centre. And next year especially, I hope I'll be sitting there at the door greeting you as you come in, handing over your tickets for Merkinch Community Centre Christmas concert in the centre. So keep warm, keep safe and keep well fed. And God bless you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Anne. And as we finish today, I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I want to wish you the peace of the season. And I sincerely hope and pray that 2021 will be a good year for all of us. Thank you for watching and do take care.